Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8 I believe. I am speaking very quietly because it is 6.04 a.m. and we're already at the airport lounge. I feel like now you guys have seen me in this knit and this beanie for like probably like four days. I think it looks worse than it actually is. It's true, this is the black cause cashmere knit. I love it so much. I have another turtle neck underneath from Uniqlo because I was like at 4 a.m. when that alarm goes on, I'm not gonna want to be cold in any way shape or form. So back into the kate jeans i got my Saint Laurent coat my margot from the road that i love this bag and i'm ready for breakfast you guys now i have to be honest i love the british airways lounge breakfast uh, i think i'm alone on that one because filippo doesn't really love it that much as much as i do because once i overhyped it and he was like a bit disappointed i think that's my fault though because i totally overhyped it and i was like oh my god can't wait can't wait can't wait but and then he was like it's okay it's eggs tamara calm down but the thing is also like if i'm eating at 605 it must mean that i really really like it so what you missed out on this morning is that i woke up at four i obviously wasn't gonna vlog everybody in the house was asleep my brother-in-law brought me to the airport we we're just chatting for an hour and a half i passed through security and all of that good stuff so yesterday i realized that i ordered i think i told you during black friday cyber week well, you guys probably didn't trust me because i mean i wouldn't believe myself either that i bought this like huge <laughs> tray like bed tray from white company and it doesn't well i don't I haven't tried fitting it in my luggage. Maybe it would fit, but it's here, okay? And my mom packed it for me with like a little method so that I can easily carry it. Like she put an elastic here so I can just grab the elastic and carry it. So this morning I was gonna like travel light and have like an enjoyable travel, but however, no, I'm carrying this like huge tray around. I hope they're gonna let me on the plane. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I'm gonna go grab a coffee, have a little walk through the terminal and we're off to Milan. Wow, uh, am I all messed up with my hair because I was wearing a beanie? I don't know. It's not a problem for another day. How are you, baby? Good. Who came to get me at the airport? Me. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. You're the best. Guys, so what's the time? 10.34. To be honest, I was just telling Filippo, 7 o'clock flight. Yes sounds horrible but actually it's my favorite kind of flight you know why because i find that you kind of obviously wake up very early you don't sleep much but then you sleep on the plane which obviously i don't even remember there was ever any flight i slept all throughout the flight and then i kind of arrive at 10 30 and now i have a whole day ahead of me luggage was fast boarding was fast we didn't run late because there's no backlog from the day you know yeah. if there's backlog from the day just one flight missed you already need to find like different permissions things i guess uh, so now i need to go home you go to work yeah i need to go home i will probably need to eat something and then i have a dentist appointment in exactly maybe who is home waiting for three you? hours your parents yep yeah and Aww. maybe they, my mom cooked for you so you have everything you need for the whole week Maybe the best right? yeah i'm gonna try vlog a little bit as much as i possibly can maybe she made uh, tiramisu yeah she made uh, pasticcio lasagne lasagne she made arrosto arrosto non mangio no but i do <laughs> and um, that's it tonight they're gonna be with us mm -hmm. we eat at home so nice if and, i can uh, eat and then uh, yeah yeah you will be able to. i'm gonna make sure i eat before because my dentist appointment is in three hours so i'm gonna try and just like vlog as much as i can yeah, possibly can, until you can have then an early lunch at 12 yeah and then maybe 1 30 you go to the dentist yeah and then when you're done i'll try to come get you if i can i don't otherwise you can just why walk would home. you get me baby yeah, you just walk home i don't think there's need you know what i'm very excited actually this is gonna be the first time that i can actually chill i'm very happy to go to the dentist yeah maybe how crazy is that you can watch a tv maybe for like one hour no three i don't have well for one hour first no i i'm not on the phone yeah you know then i go for an hour or and a half or something like that and then i come back for another hour or something like that no yeah i don't know well i need to make sure that i eat because i don't think i'm gonna be able to eat in between no in between no but you eat before, baby. The appointment yeah. is one thirty. You can eat at twelve thirty. Yeah. But very, very easy. How are your days without me? Boring. But uh, I was with my. Parents. But you survived. Yeah. Good. I also, for me, uh, to be honest, I had a really nice time with my mom and my sister. Right? Yeah, and Micho and the kids and my grandma, baby. See? Uh, your grandma was also there. Yeah. My sister said that she wishes you yeah. really can't. Okay. No, I know, baby. I also love to say, baby, in the way. Because also, baby, they would have like made the 
way better if you came but anyway i had the best time it was just very wholesome and we kind of i don't know we spoke a lot we ate really good food we ate sarme we ate pita od krompira that was all kalinich women yes well there are some very important boys as well yeah also my grandma is not kalinich <laughs> it's okay you know what i mean but anyway the point is we ate sarme we ate satarash yeah. Which is like, I think you have it in Italy too. It's like um, peppers, like bell peppers. Yeah. And some tomatoes, they're like cooked and they're put in like a winter style in a jar. So we ate also burek, maybe with yeah, meat is the only one yeah. because obviously my grandma is very much from Bosnia. So burek is the one with meat. And then also like pita, which is like a filo pastry kind of pie with the potatoes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to explain because it was like with potatoes sacrumpino but it can be with cheese it can be with you know yeah and then what else i had i had soup my mom made like a kirby's oh, <laughs> my mom made a pumpkin soup and how do you say pumpkin in italian zucca i i know that zucca and then we had um, so much good stuff like it's the best stuff basically some cinnamon rolls as well that i know you don't like but yeah no, cinnamon and, is not my thing and that's that and now I feel a little bit uh, a little bit tired. I'm excited to go home to unpack and sort out all my stuff. I think today after dentist maybe I will have like an hour nap. Maybe, you know. You have to you home, you rest and that's it. Okay. And then I'll be home at uh, six ish. Is there anything new at home or not yet? What? Home. Yeah. Oh just the Christmas tree. Okay. Perfect. Anche anche è bellissimo, non solo buonissimo. <laughs> sì. Um, Tamara? Sì. Abbiamo portato l'olio buonissimo. Sì. Da mettere sopra. Guess where we are, you guys? I'm so happy to be here. Honestly, I am always happy to travel. I'm always happy, obviously. I'm happy everywhere, though. That's the truth. And I just wish I actually... I don't know, like, the way I feel here, I'm so happy. But the way I'm in England, I'm so happy there. When I go to Serbia, I'm so happy there. It's just like that. Wait, let me put some lights on. Because you guys asked me a few things, and I want to answer to a few things that you guys asked me throughout the last few videos. So let's try and answer. First things that you guys asked me is... Someone said they always wonder if you can take the pillowcases from the pillows if they're like personalized obviously not like any kind of pillowcases but these ones let's say like tamara at the sahar obviously we have taken because it's not like they're gonna use them and wash them and give them to other guests so they basically were like a little very 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 nice gift so here we have the two cases also i wanted to show you what i got at loro piana oh first to answer actually another question which is hair tutorial you guys have been asking me for the hair tutorial ever since i did like the kind of like s wave whatever you want to call it the kind of mermaid wave i would love to do it but i cannot just do it. you you guys are saying like can you do it in the next video and the thing is i haven't washed my hair so i think i'm gonna wash my hair today because yesterday i got rained on and today i traveled and it's disgusting i would wash it now because i look a bit like mwah, mwah. but honestly i want to really enjoy i love to kind of have a nice wash enjoy my time in the shower like do exfoliate my body keep put the hair mask on, dry my hair properly. I don't want to get like catch a cold now in this weather, etc. So I'm going to wash my hair after the dentist because I only have like half an hour before I need to leave the house, you know? And in the meanwhile, I wanted to show you what I got at Loro Piana when we went to Bistro Village. So first thing, I was eyeing this piece, I think ever since it came out and I really like it, but then like it's such a heavy print for me. You guys know how I am. And for something that I think is like quite Christmassy or seasonal, I wasn't sure. Now, like I really, really love it. Like, I mean, I'm so happy I got it. They have like a one piece and they have a zippy one so this one is a zippy one obviously and they had like matching hat matching gloves matching pretty much everything different also prints i will link it below if i can find it it's still available online i really really love it i tried on the matching hat but then ended up getting this cashmere gray hat i do have as Filippo would say quite a few hats it's not like i need a hat but i really like this one and also lorbiana cashmere nothing comes close and i do think that hat makes me so much warmer than anything else like if i'm wearing a hat i realize i get so much less cold than if i'm not i guess that's very obvious and i guess all the other normal people knew that already so yeah this is gonna be very beautiful for the mountains now i think we're gonna go to the mountains in approximately like 10 days or so 11 days something like that so it's still going to be during vlogmas and you guys will see it i got another cashmere knit very classic because i really like it
like it. I usually love this kind of um, knitwear and it's just like very simple. This is from Men's Collection and is this, I, I don't know if you can see this, kind of like a melange. <laughs> it's a um, beige caramel color knitted, beautiful half a turtleneck. Just because I honestly, honestly think that this kind of knit I always need. I got a men's size 36. So these are the things that I got at Lorbiana. In all honesty, like for me at the Bista Village outlet, these are the pieces that I can get the most of. Things that are classic, that are forever and that I think I'll never get sick of. Even if like the, the first knit that I've shown you is quite heavily printed, I still think it's quite a piece. I also brought home a knit that I got on a sale but I ordered it a while ago. So this is the first time you guys will see it. Where is it? Okay. So here, yeah. inspired by my Vienna trip, it's very colorful for me. This and the Loewe anagram knit are the only two colorful knits that I actually own right now and I really like it. Again, for the mountains, for that kind of cute mood vibe when I really just want to add a bit of color. You know what I mean? I think you guys will know. What else did I bring with me? I bought this Mutha body oil. Loves it, especially now that my skin is a bit drier. I also brought these two Tata Harper things. Nourishing oil, which is amazing for removing your makeup also. And resurfacing body cream. It's like a serum that is like resurfacing kind of for your body. I want to try it. I also got a few other things that I want to show you guys. Beauty related, okay? These eyeshadows from Vive. It's Jamie Genevieve's brand and it's so beautiful. Look at these colors. I'll link everything that I'm showing you below. They're matte, they're perfect. And I think for me, like for traveling, this is amazing. I left my MAC nine times burgundy in England because I just was like, you know what? It's scrambling now, it's okay. Anyway, I brought also with me this Cosas foundation. I obviously have somewhere there in my Margot bag full of rose zinc products that I really, 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 really love and that I used yesterday. I love them. I have this Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder in medium. I got this Blush and Glow Glide Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll show you what it looks like inside. It's really beautiful. It's, I think my color is, I'll check now and I'll tell you. But look how beautiful, it's like a blush and glow. My color is tan deep. Love it. Okay, I need to do a bit of makeup before we go to hairdresser. With, uh, hairdresser? Dentist. Because this is how you guys will be seeing me holding. I got the Vive eyeliner. I really love this product. Lip liner from MAC in World. I don't have a mirror here, so I don't know. This was a bad idea. Let me show you on my hand. It's like a nice little nude. I got Vive a lip liner in Bark. Beautiful, so cream and soft and gorgeous. Love this. for like Also for burgundy lips to line them kind of brownish. MAC eyeliner. This Pito Lip Twist by Sisley. Look at this. I think I got this in the advent calendar. I never tried it before and I have no idea how it is, but you guys are witnessing it now first. What I can tell you is that it feels good on the lips. Mm, very creamy. Kind of like a lip balm. I think that is the idea. Mm. Mm, it's very nice. Loves it. And I got some mini Sisley bits and bobs from the advent calendar that I took out already. Yes, I know I opened the whole advent calendar because I really wasn't going to travel with the advent calendar. One of my favorite lip balms in the whole world. It's like Nutritive Lip Balm. It doesn't actually smell like anything, but it's amazing. Protective hair care oil. Some Sisleya bits. Black Rose Mask. I love those things, especially for when traveling okay so oh i got one more thing that i don't know if you guys have i shown it yeah i shown it before you guys this my mom packed it for me so that i can carry it like this and this is like rubber so it doesn't break so like my mom is just like honestly brilliant so i will link this below because for me it was like such an amazing discovery because i've been searching for something like this for a very long time i don't know why i ordered it in england i think I don't know if they were shipping abroad. Check it out, I will link it below. But I am already dreaming about Sunday mornings when you kind of just like have coffee and breakfast in bed. My sister was like, you never spend any time in your bed. You're literally like the one person that spends the least time in bed and you're always working. So that is it. I really like it. Obviously you can fold the legs and then it's just like a normal tray and they fold inside. So it's still flat. I love things like this. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what I need to do is pack all this up. The rubbish I mean. Have like a five minute shower. It's not gonna be my fine, like my D shower. It's just like five minute shower, so I feel a bit better after flying because I just ate and stuff as soon as I got in. But I want to have like a nice little shower, like very quick one, freshening, do a little bit of makeup, head to dentist, and then we'll continue the day. I just realized like I'm looking around me, and I, I know I promised that I'll show you what I got on the raw sample sale. Maybe in tomorrow's video, because tomorrow I also will be organizing some stuff. 
at home here. So that is the deal of the days. So you guys know tomorrow we're just gonna be at home, you and I, together. It's not gonna be like a stressful day. It's not gonna be like going to any places day. It's going to be like an easy day. We need to like figure some things out. We need to plan some things out. So don't worry, we just, you know, we're just gonna be chilling a little bit. I hope that's okay. I'm trying to think if there's something that I need to do tomorrow. Like, wow, I can't wait to wash my hair when I come home today. But I don't know if I should wash the hair in between. Cause I have like, so I, I didn't tell you actually what I need to do at the dentist. Basically, when I was at university, I was, I had like the two bottom, basically like everybody in my family has very weak tooth number six okay so when i was at university i had a root canal done i remember because it was like in the middle of exam periods i had a root canal done on this number six and the other one when i was in pre-reg which is like after you graduate and you're doing that one year of experience of work in the pharmacy so before the big exam i had i fixed this one first and then when i was at pre-reg i fixed this but because i worked full-time and all of that i couldn't get a day off to go to the dentist and that year of work is so strict that you cannot have many days absent from the pharmacy if you have like more days than you're allowed absent from the pharmacy even like one you might not be allowed to do the exam and you have to wait like for a whole other year so i had to like figure it out i had to find like a new dentist that was working in the weekends and all of this kind of stuff so eventually i had the root canal done there but they've done a filling for me and it wasn't like a greatest job ever so the time has passed and like it's been like 10 years and basically I've been saying kind of I want to put a crown there instead of a filling I want to put a crown there instead of a filling on I want to like do it like really nice job I want to do a nice job I don't want to have a filling and yeah I think we're gonna do that I also have one what do you call it like um lead I have a lead filling in one of my <clears throat> tooth number seven I think on top that all of my dentists have advised me my whole life not to change because they're saying those are the best ones and i've had it done when i was like eight because in our elementary school in novi sad george janathoshevich if anybody knows this school and is still going to that school or went to that school please let me know if you had the same experience we have a dentist downstairs and this is like the craziest experience so like imagine you go to school you're eight years old and they come to they just knock on the door and they're like okay tamara come downstairs to the dentist appointment and you're like okay so like you're for example in the middle of your maths class you're eight years old and all of a sudden you're going to dentist and then they're like okay we're gonna fix this one tooth no anesthesia no nothing no numbing no nothing like basically it is what it is no dental block you're there they're fixing your tooth everybody's screaming around you all the kids and you're like okay this is it so they put me a lead plump like the lead uh, filling and it's just like not aesthetic thing really but all my dentists have advised me afterwards not to change it because it's not necessary however my dentist here in milan is like of course you should change it but he's like very 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 aesthetic guy and he's like we need to change it tomorrow like you know so i don't know what to do because honestly all my dentists in serbia have advised me not to change it and i tend to have this belief to kind of trust them but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we'll see what we're gonna do now i can't talk that much more because i really have to go shower and we need to get dressed and we need to get going what christmas movie should i watch at dentists or what should i watch on netflix i wish i could watch youtube i think it's gonna annoy them if i watch if i'm watching like a vlogmas and stuff Lol. okay guys so i just got dressed i'm wearing the new laura piano cashmere i'm wearing the raw pants that are also cashmere i'm wearing my uggs because honestly what do i want to be a dentist comfortable so that's the answer i'll probably bring like a big bag because i don't think i'm gonna come back at my lunch break home yeah guys shall i quickly update you i finished at the dentist it's 3 24 i have to be back at 4 and i was like i don't want to go home for like five minutes everything in my mouth hurts from like you know that little, little rubber thing they put around your mouth to make your mouth open fun but I arrived at the roastery, asked for like not so hot coffee, so it's like a warm coffee I'm gonna watch and have a look at the previous vlogmas that is going live and all of that good stuff. And what else am I gonna do? I don't wanna eat, don't feel really like eating, so I'm just gonna sit here, do some work and basically figure the rest of the things out, if that makes any sense, to be honest. Kind of have a lot of work to do. That's December, it's okay.
guys I basically as you guys know I'm working I'm working on my computer let me kind of show you so here we go writing a blog post and stuff like that and then over there there's a girl that's also working across me I would assume she's like at university she's very young very cute and she told me like oh I'm just gonna quickly go to the toilet do you mind looking after my stuff and I was like of course girlfriend like I feel like we're working together at this very small table we're kind of like friends now right so sure and it's so funny because it reminded me so much of when I I first came to Milan we didn't have a place we lived in this kind of like a hotel situation and there was like a cafe next door where I would go and work all day long because I didn't really have like an office kind of space to work from home so I would like sit at this like kind of communal table with all of these students studying for their exams and they would like Oh, it was just like the cutest thing ever honestly like they would kind of get the coins out of their pockets to buy like a coffee I know very well what it's like to be a student so sometimes I like buy them a coffee you know because I felt like I don't want to be a creep but I also feel like I know what it's like to be a student and I was there before and I was there when I could like just sit whole day long with one coffee in a coffee shop to study so I'd like buy them like croissants and like coffees and stuff because they were studying and then one day they asked me because we didn't really exchange names or anything like that but we, I would always have my earphones and I'd be working and and they're working you know and then one day they asked me like so which university do you go to and I realized I was like wow they really must think I'm a very old looking student that I was very flattered they were so cute and I just love seeing like students when they like come to a cafe and study because it brings me back so much back in the day so now I'm like guarding my girls stuff here you know I'm like not even working because I'm so focused this is busy central Milan situation so we need to be careful and I told her listen I have to go back to my dentist in 15 minutes girl and she was like don't worry but she probably already thinks I'm a weirdo because I'm like vlogging and sitting I like talking to a camera here and she's like okay oh well it's all fine it's vlogmas guys I was speaking to Filippo on the phone and at one point he screamed and he was like oh my god it's snowing I mean it's literally I wouldn't even count this as snow it looks like a bit of rain but apparently he said in front of his office it's all white which kind of prefers for vlog I have to head back to the dentist. What can I tell you? I didn't have much time. I just reviewed my vlog a little bit. Let's make sure that I can actually cross the road here. What is going on? I'm wearing these earphones not because I'm um, listening to anything. Just because my ears are cold. So actually, Apple AirPods Max Pro, whatever they're called, they have several different functions. How's that? Got my coffee. Going back to the dentist. You know, it is what it is. He told me go and have a coffee and then come back, but not too hot. And I want to say that let me take you this way because I think the Christmas tree will be out already in front of the door. So I wanted to say, why did I pick the windiest street of them all? Like literally, this is the windiest, the windiest street. Also, why don't I have a beanie today? So I managed to review, like, and type out some text in the blog post that's going live, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. I think today we had a blog post live. I don't even know anymore because this day seems like five days. Or was it yesterday? I'm so confused. But what I can tell you is that you should totally go and check out the blog. On the blog, I show you all of my new in. There's a lot of like gift suggestions. I did a Christmas shopping list, kind of like guide gifts for like best friend, for him, for family members everything you need so i strongly recommend you guys check it out and let us know what you think because i think like well we put a lot of effort in it it's quite yeah and if you do like to receive personal letters from me once a week every sunday make sure to subscribe to my newsletter because i do think that you guys are gonna like it it's like a very special community of like-minded people i would say i don't know if you can see but we're slowly but surely approaching the duomo there i don't know if they're putting the christmas tree or they already put it it looks a little bit skinny i have to say <laughs> the tree i mean not the duomo the duomo is always the same but pretty impressive i have to be honest guys i always love it here i'm always a tourist in this city because i'm well, not the rubbish truck but everything else very impressive i love it and now that it's like snowing raining whatever it is there are not many people so it's even better wow well what's the time okay i need to be there in four minutes which is actually perfect because i will exactly be there in four minutes i have to say this new laura piana cashmere very comfortable very warm i also have to tell you one other thing so i told you that i did the root canal of both of those bottom sixes and when i arrived at the dentist i was like okay can you please do all the drilling with no honest 
the anesthesia and he was like mm, are you sure and i was like yeah i'm 100 sure like i mean i can use my brain i'm not a dentist but even pharmacists know that obviously with the root canal they take out the nerve which then subsequently means you will not necessarily feel any pain maybe a tiny little bit of discomfort but not the pain so i was like yeah go for it i don't want to look like last time when i basically couldn't move half of my face for six hours later because i'll tell you why because Filippo always asks for so much dental block he's always like i don't want to feel anything you know like man with all due respect we love you our man but the pain tolerance is just very different so he always gives me this dental block that basically Filippo gets as well which is very intense and for me i was like no i don't want any dental block then when i told Filippo i didn't get any dental block Filippo told me that he's gonna faint and my sister <laughs> told me that i am basically wanting to torture myself for no particular reason i was just like it didn't hurt at all so yeah what's good is basically i did it for you guys i was like look if it hurts we'll go back and go with dental block but right now i don't want it because i need to vlog for the rest of the day and i don't want to be again like this remember how it was it was crazy something else about today that makes today so much better already after i'm done Filippo will come to pick me up after the dentist so then i'm gonna go home wash my hair probably have a bath and just really stay company because I really feel like today's not a day to spend it outside despite oh look how pretty is this okay okay i'll be late at the dentist a little bit just because i want to show you some of the milan beauties it's really really beautiful let's see what should i watch oh, this is one of my favorites everybody's recommending bodies shall we see what it is episode okay i want to see so I can learn Italian. The reason why I put Italian subtitles, by the way, guys, is because I really struggle with how to spell things in Italian because I learned it by listening. So this really helps me actually learn how to spell stuff, if that makes any sense. They told me I need to wait a little bit, so I'm just gonna sit here, watch, and wait, guys. All done. I mean, you can't see anything, but all done. I'm so happy. Lip was picking me up. So, went home to wash my hair. I'm so excited about it. And yeah, I have one whole week now without a dentist, but two more than dental visits and I'm done all done also honestly so happy I didn't do the dental block sorry I know I'm speaking about this a lot but you know what I mean at least I can talk properly kind of I never talk properly but you know what I mean slowly but surely the city is getting decorated this day is already over wow look at this person waiting for me watching my vlog he's watching the vlog boss. he's catching up actually because there's not even a most recent one guys I feel so much better now like I cannot even explain how much better I feel after I wash my hair now because you know what it is? So I'll be very honest with you, I have very dry naturally hair which means that it doesn't get re greasy or dirty so it's not the fact that it's greasy, it's not even the fact that yesterday I got so badly rained on at all. What it is is just kind of like styling it and making it look like really nice and luscious. That's what I really enjoy. Other thing that I've done that I'm not sure you're going to be able to see now is I have actually, let me show you, I use this little machine to clean my ring and it's just so sparkly my god like honestly i love it so much baby baby look how sparkly is my ring now i've just cleaned it it's not catching on camera but i use this little machine i got it on amazon if i can link it below i will i also put boiling water inside that's why it's a bit steamed and it uses like ultrasound to get rid of all the little kind of greasy like cream and dirt and dust and everything that gets stuck inside of the ring especially mine which has a very specific structure underneath right Filippo? yes do you know what i really need no i need a vanity table to do my makeup well, maybe i maybe i'm done you're done yeah i'm done with this vanity table yeah, I think the god just punished you. Huh? The god just punished you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But you know what I mean. You just uh, here. It's perfect. We put the old white carpet. E però scusami, posso chiederti una cosa? Yes, but I do agree with the carpet. What are these trousers? Huh? Paperino. You're just jealous. Guys, look at this. I'm jealous. So guys, I got home. I washed my hair. I ate a little bit of tiramisu, which was so freaking great. So you know what we need? We definitely need, I need the vanity table urgently. Should I put it here or should I put it in my wardrobe? Phil, people that is not talking to me. Okay. Oh, it should be here, baby. 
Yeah? Yeah, because the here is where we have the space to do it. We also have the space in the wardrobe. Where? If I kick out the sofa. And where do you put the sofa? Oh, maybe we, here. Here? Yeah. The vanity table in your bedroom is the mm -hmm. best. It would look very cozy, very nice. That's true. Should we change the carta da parati here? If you don't like it, we change it. I like the idea, and I'm not sure if it annoys me. Maybe if it annoys you, we change it. But to be honest, uh, it doesn't annoy me. Should I change my whole wardrobe? Yeah, no, baby, why don't we change the house? In two years' time, we change the house, maybe, and then we can do what we I think next year, actually. I think next year. I just I spoke about this to my sister and my mom. Yeah, about our, our uncertain where we're gonna spend our future. We don't know, but that's also part of. I was gonna say that's so beautiful because yeah. we have all the freedom to decide. It's, uh, you know, to not know what to. Do actually, I have to tell you one a, thing. Is a privilege. The bedroom is now so much cozier, and I don't know what it is. The bedroom is cozier. Mm -hmm. Nothing changed. It's so much cozier. Nothing changed. So uh, you see, uh, and now with the white carpet, maybe we change completely. Yeah. And also this one, but it has to be here. Let me see what has to be there. Okay, so we have this. Okay, it needs to be lower because also the ceilings are so high up. So yeah, no, no. We maybe once that is lower and once it's all white around, maybe you would feel like a, a different woman. Okay. I, take my... <sighs> I feel so exhausted, but also hungry. But then, when am I not hungry? We're gonna eat very soon. Buddha. My mom is already cooking. Perfect. Love it. Okay? Like adesso? Let's say, you take your vitamins. Yeah? Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go dry my hair so that I'm ready and like cute little daughter in law for 7 pm. Mm. What is filla? Quella che ne faccio. You know the first row. Mm -hmm. How do you say it in Italian? Mm. And you know the coffee? Quando fai the le cose, Tami, Tamara, sì. quando fai le cose con passione, sì. che escono con il buco, sì. diciamo noi. Questo è vero. È buono, capito? Guys, we had dinner. My hair is still wet. I haven't styled it. So I will probably show you how I style it in tomorrow's video or something like that. Because I think that will be... It'll be more interesting. It'll be daylight. I'm also exhausted. It's 8 p.m. and I've been awake since 4 a.m. I hope you can understand if today's video is not very wholesome. But I wanted to tell you something. It would be embarrassing if it wasn't for charity. All the good stories start like that, okay? So during September Fashion Week, while I was in London, I got invited to record a Christmas song. Yep, you heard it well. And actually, it's sort of like an annual Christmas song that we were recording. I, I don't know if I've even mentioned it, but we were recording in a studio where like Michael Bublé records, Adele, Mick Jagger. Like, I don't know, like a lot of really, really like huge important songs were done there. I think like David Bowie was like recording some songs there, even like, like really, really cool. And obviously I don't need to specify that I'm not a singer, right? But it was for charity. It's for Great Ormond Street Hospital. And how could I not do it? How could I say no when, you know, it's for children and I know that the children from all around the world go to get the treatment in this specific hospital. So I really wanted to participate even though it was I was so out of my depth. It was just like I was like scared to sing. However, I have to tell you that when I arrived there, we had a wonderful vocal coach and they've even given me a whole verse to sing. So I can't really share too much, but I'm going to link the single in the description box. You guys, if you would like to contribute and help, you can buy it and listen to it. But more so, if you listen to it, I'm curious if you can recognize which part is my part that I'm singing. I think you should be able to. Is it quite recognizable, Filippo? Would you know which part is my part if, you, if I didn't tell you. Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Um it's a Christmas song and I would love you guys to purchase it not because of its success in terms of like song because I'm not going to be a singer I'm not pursuing singing career or anything like that but because of the proceeds going to children and because it's really a charity cause during London Fashion Week I was jet lagged I went to the studio spent hours in the studio honestly all I can tell you is that it wasn't easy. I gave my best and yeah, I'm really hoping that you guys are going to buy the single so that we can help the little ones, especially at this time of the year when it's all about being charitable and no matter where in the world you're from, I know that like sometimes people want to help charities that are kind of closer to their home. Keep in mind that this is the hospital in London where children from all around the world get the treatment. It's very specialized, it's for children and I don't know, I think that should be the reason to buy the single. So. 
It was the reason for me to sing, guys, and embarrass myself and just wait for the video to come out because I'm sure like I can't even tell you, but definitely not like something to be showing around <laughs> if it wasn't for charity. Yeah. Mm, anyway, I think I would like to vlog a little bit more, but the truth is that today I am really exhausted. And what are we going to watch, Filippo? Where is Filippo even? We don't even know. Filippo. So right now we are, as you guys can see, in our bed, in our cozy, comfy, beautiful bed and i don't know why it keeps recording filippo and not me he likes him better but uh we're gonna watch something shall we start with bodies i tried start, like watching it at the dentist but it was kind of hard like, yeah, I, yeah. at one point i almost told the dentist like excuse me we i can. need to see what's going on like and we he was like i also it. need to like be working in your mouth something like you know done deal okay eight o'clock i literally am gonna fall asleep in a second i feel like it's midnight same baby well, what time did you wake up 8 30 well me at four yeah, but you slept until 10, baby. 40. What? What do you mean? You slept in the plane. It doesn't count. No! No. Well, of course it counts, baby. No. Anyway, ciao. <laughs> Filippo loves to hang up also on the phone. No. Like in this way. Ciao. No. And also, baby's not there at the screen. No. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm sorry if today's vlogmas was a bit short. I think you got a little bit of everything in a way. Hopefully, tomorrow we're going to be finally in one place the whole day. So I really hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Bye.